So my first prayer that I prayed that broke me loose from my peers. If I will tell you my age, you'll, you'll, you'll commit suicide. What broke me loose is when I saw the scripture saying, I will enlarge your capacity. I had an encounter that day. And the encounter was, I am bigger than the way that I look. Dynamites come in small packages. Even now, even now, even when I, when, when I preach like this, and people say, ah, oh, what an awesome man of God, what a good way. When I go home, I'm depressed. I'm asking God, couldn't I do better? Couldn't I break free from this dimension? Because there is another dimension with God. There is something wrong with the formula. A giant taking a cup by sleep. There is something wrong with a cheetah taking the leap of a tortoise. There is something wrong. There is something wrong there. You can't be Goliath and taking the step of David. There's what you call a rotational family. Cows cannot overgraze the same place for a long time. If cows are kept here, they cannot over when they stay in one place for a long time, they overgraze, they will starve. You know what is happening? We are what is this? We are recycling ideas. Every year I want to start a business. Every year I want to, you know, fix my life. Every year I want to get married. We are recycling ideas. We are overgrazing this dimension. That's why the that's, that's why the song. Take me higher, lift me higher, lift me higher. No, listen, there is another mystery to prayer. It is when I decided at the age of 21, Father, today I'm going to pray for eight hours. It is when I decided that another dimension to the vision of what God said I must do in my life. There are things in the spirit, you can't trap them if you are just low here in the spirit. Things that demand a good lesson. If you are a preacher, the preachers longer than the way that you play, you are a puppet. You are a puppet. We said the apostolic, did we? Leave me higher. Leave me higher. Leave me higher. Greater pain, only one 
to the level now. You know, if you are overstaying your season, you cause problems. Some of our problems, they are founded on overstaying our season. You do more harm than good. If God says move, listen, He does not sit on sitters. He does not stand on standers. He moves on those that are moving. Stop being treating God like a monument. God is not a monument. God is a movement. He is not in one place. He moves. It's great sadness ah, to be in a place where God used to be and not be in a place where God is. That's why I said it's possible to be present and not in the presence. Relationships. Relationships. Make friends with somebody that will teach you something. Make friends with somebody that, that allows you to stretch. There is something that Moses that God said to Moses. When Moses arrived at the Red Sea, the limitation of men, God said to Moses, Now Moses, I need you to do something for me. I need you to take the rod to the place where it has not been. I need you to stretch. Some of you God is saying stretch. 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 The Bible says in the book of Luke, the disciples, they went all night. They found nothing. They didn't find fish. They didn't find fish. The Bible says, and then Jesus said to them, pull the net deeper. Pull it deeper. Some of us, listen, if you're shallow like, there will not be fish. No. Kimbali is a giant. The death of a giant is the birth of a king. The kind of problems that you face, they are there to produce a king in you. Now we are, we, are, we are being shaken. We are being shaken. We don't understand that before meditation is taken, it has to be shaken. You shake the meditation before you use it. After being shaken. After you are shaken, God is going to use you. Except a person is made. God cannot lift up that man. We might be lifted up too soon. Ah, I don't know now. Let me just leave it there. <laughs> the book of John chapter 19, verse number 28 there. We are in the scene number 5. Later knowing that everything had now been finished. No, no. Matthew chapter number 27. It's an honest mistake that one. Chapter 27. We are at number 4 now. Verse number 48, verse number 46. Allow me to read it to save time. Eli, and then he shouted, Eli, Eli, lama sabagata. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It's the fourth saying. Why have you forsaken me? It's a mystery. And the question is not only rhetorical, but it's, 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 you first met it, it's allegoric. The, the, the nature of the question it digs for abandonment there is a dimension of Christ that God had to abandon for him to become the mountain that he is let me just give you the mystery sometimes you pray you are not answered spiritual maturity does not pray for answers I need you to follow me well. When you go to a certain level of spiritual maturity, you no longer pray for answers. It becomes about praying for what the prayer can do to your spirit. Because there is something that prayer first does to your spirit before it brings the answer. What it does is it lifts you up to vibrate on the same frequency as God. 
that when he makes a deposit, you are permeable and you are able to conduct what God is releasing. So my praise, Father, turn me into another man. Even the prayer that I'm praying, let it heighten me to the experiences of God. Abandonment. There are times where God is not saying anything. Where he leaves you to decide. There are times where you decide, Father, am I going to stay here or am I going to leave? And he is quiet. He is leaving you to decide. Abandon the mystery of abandonment. It is a principle of growth in it. And God wants you to go to a dimension where he wants to see if a sight of him can flow through you. Without him speaking, where you can hear him when he's silent. Ah, it's a mystery. Hearing God when he's not speaking. And how does that one come? It comes because you're so much dead. You are so much changed that when God is silent, you are able to almost discern what he would say. You pray, you pray, you pray, you pray. Abandonment. Anytime he wants to hear now, he wants to hear from you. 